Hello! Hi! If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. Alright, cool. Enjoy the video. Okay. Okay. Where do I fucking start with the... I just finished the game, here's my thoughts and quote review of it. Okay. So. As. As a Yakuza game, as we all know, it's really, really good. We're, good, we're gonna talk. I'm, I'm gonna talk about the gameplay for just a moment, right? So. The gameplay side of it, they realized what people really, really liked in Judgment and Lost Judgment, and they put it in a traditional, quote-unquote, Yakuza entry, and the new additions that they put to it are damn good. I was really really surprised to see that the 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 yakuza fighting style you can switch to whenever the fuck you want is pretty much as good as we've always known it to be right you know you get the you got you got the tiger drop you got the kamaki parry you got all you have all the good shit that you know you can't really have without messing something up right so We've got that. The agent style, it took some getting used to, but it's pretty much Yagami's crane style with the, you know, the speed and the multi-hits and etc, etc. So that's good, but the additions that they put on that make it better. I'm not... I, I need to play more of the game if I'm going to compare the two. For what it does and what it's meant to do, it does it very, very well. As you've seen throughout this playthrough, uh, the cigarette bombs are fucking jacked. Um, the 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 spider wire jacked. The 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 serpent boots jacked. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure that we're not gonna keep it going from this into uh, infinite wealth because you know completely different fucking gameplay style. For how I suppose. Uh, short this is it makes sense and I'm I, I'm okay with them being busted now if they were like you know outrageously overpowered from minute one and this was like like a 40 50 hour uh, Yakuza entry from start to finish then I would have had a bit more to say negative wise but since this one is on the shorter side, like I think my save file before I went into this at like 22 hours or something, it I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. So the gameplay is good. I like it a lot. And when 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 I started figuring stuff out here and there, I'm like, oh my mind's eye is opening. Hee <laughs> hee. Right. Uh, music. Uh, there were quite a few tracks that were reused from Lost Judgment, which I don't have a problem with. I love the Lost Judgment soundtrack. Um, you know, I don't really handle the whole music department, so maybe they had the reason for reusing some tracks, or maybe they just didn't have the time or whatever set aside for it, but the tracks they did use, it made sense why they were there, you know? We got the serious suspenseful track for the serious suspenseful moments and uh, yada 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 right they are really really making the dragon engine better with every subsequent entry because when it came when they revealed it in six fucking garbage did not like it you know af after you know, having to go from like free flowing combat to my shit is being reflected off the enemy. Mm -mm, didn't like it. And on subsequent replays of Yakuza 6, still didn't like it. And then, 
they made it a little a little bit better in Kiwami 2 and then they figured the fuck out what they were doing in Judgment and in Lost Judgment and in this they got it I feel like they got it for, for, for the brawler games that have the dragon engine in them they did good they did real good I wasn't expecting the upgrade route to be you know Yakuza 0 style where you you know pay for your shit and the other currency with the Akame points at first I was like eh, but then I was like you know what with how much you get of the shit it's okay I'm okay with it and I grew I grew to like it a little bit this there's a post credit scene isn't there yes the fuck there is Oh, it's 2023. Oh. Now that I'm seeing the new hairdo on my own screen, on my TV, I like it a lot more now. Granted, I did like it when it was initially shown off, but... Seeing it on my shit, oh yeah, I like it. I, I I really, really like it now. And yeah, his age is finally fucking showing. If only she was here with us. If Yakuza 6 was meant to be the quote unquote end of Kiryu's story, and let's say that this was, uh, say, an epilogue to the end of his story, for real, for real, this did a bang up fucking job with it. Granted, it put Kiryu through so much mental and emotional fucking turmoil like he is prone to going through, but I feel like they did it pretty fucking good. And I hate the fact, and I like it at the same time, because as, as you said earlier, you know, poor Kiryu, no happy ending. He never gets to have a real ass happy ending. But at the same time, because he never gets a happy ending and he like doesn't fold because of it and he keeps going in spite of constantly being dragged back into yakuza shit constantly having his fucking kids be threatened and shit constantly being fucked with constantly being challenged in ways he does not want to be fucking bothered and he still handles his fucking business that in, in like genuine, like like no bullshit. I'm not I'm not dick riding. I'm not doing any of that. Genuinely, in my fucking opinion, that is what makes a character top ten of all time. Kiryu, fucking Kazuma, is a goddamn top ten video game character of all fucking time, because of what he constantly constantly has to go through and he constantly has to fucking deal with and he keeps it fucking pushing baby he does not quit he knows what he has to do in one way or fucking another he's getting it done and that is what makes him so fucking likable that is what makes Kitty, you such a cool fucking guy. That's why, for like, like the people in the Yakuza fandom who play the games and engage with the media, that's why a lot of us fucking like him so much. That's why. How, how many times has Kitty, you supposedly fucking died? Like, every goddamn game? Or, except Zero. But every fucking game? Like, Hello? <laughs> Every fucking game, he somehow dies in shit. But still, 
in spite of that, he does what he has to fucking do, man. He does what he has to fucking do. And that's that 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 is that is why Kiryu is such a beloved fucking character. And as far as the story as a whole, for 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 this this game, it makes it so much better if you play the previous games. Hell, you don't even have well, I'm 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 take say take this next part with an asterisk. Even if you for whatever reason don't want to play all the previous games, at least play 6. Whoever fucking sees this, if you do not want to play Yakuza 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, at the bare minimum, before you play this, play 6. Because the, the, this game is gonna make zero fucking sense if you do not play Yakuza 6. And then, as I said, you know, multiple hours earlier in this stream... And from this YouTube segment, when I take it and cut it out and whatever, whatever, it makes the whole experience so much better. If you play all the games leading up to this, you don't have to play Dead Souls because that's not canon. That's a fucking funny spinoff. But playing zero through six and then this and then seven, it just like it makes everything so much fucking better and then and then another asterisk um this game and yakuza 7 happen at the same time but if you're gonna play the other games play yakuza 0 through 7 and then play this things are gonna make so much more sense do not do not be the average person and pull a fucking Oh, I can just jump into the series with Kingdom Hearts 3? Don't do that. Do not do that. Not to say that the story is all over the fucking place like Kingdom Hearts. But if if you, the viewer, are going to allow this Yakuza game to be your first one, do your homework. It's going to make the experience so much better. Please, I implore you, you have to. You have to. And as far as like, like, if I had to give it a rating, if I had to give it a rating, you know, with, with the context of every other Yakuza thing that has happened in the story up to this point, no bullshit when I say this, genuine raw ass opinion when I say this, with the context of everything up to this point 10 out of 10 like like i i'm i'm so i'm so fucking serious whole ass 10 now if you remove the context of everything else and you put this as as a stand alone game like just just like a dragon gaiden the man who erases name just by itself all all on its own with how with how lost a lot of people are going to be because again there's no there's no dedicated recap thing like at the beginning of 6 and for a lot of people this isn't going to be like a brawler type game that they're used to assuming they play brawlers before this i'm going to have to say it for a lot of people would probably probably wind up teetering between a high eight or a low nine because you know as you said earlier Arlith, uh this is the kind of game where you can't just throw the uh the side quests and side story stuff to the wind because the doing those is integral to getting your upgrade points you know do, do, doing all the side stuff that is like absolutely fucking necessary like you know some things you can forego like you know, I got uh, the Akame Network to uh, uh, 26, 27. I didn't max it out. But because I did so much of it, it made the game that much more fun and that much more easy, easier. And the average person these days probably ain't going to do all that shit. And like I said, with, with, how, with how many holes are going to be missing if you lack previous context... And you play this just as a, ooh, this looks cool kind of game. I feel like a lot of people are going to give it a high 8 or a low 9. 
But with that being said, those are my I just finished the game. Here's my thoughts thoughts. And uh yeah. So now I'm going to save the game. And look at that shiny premium adventure.